Now we just have the empty cauldron and the iron chain for the plague bringer's request to complete. I forget how the iron chain works. I think it's over here. Okay, so it says you have to go to the forge near the gate and steal the chains. And then, okay, the empty cauldron's in the inn. So we're gonna go do that. We gotta go to the forge in the inn to get the gate or the cauldron in the chain. Okay, the inn. Just gotta find the cauldron here. I don't know why I didn't do the click objectives first. Cauldron. Most of these guys are just scared, so maybe I don't have to fight them all. Ah, here's the cauldron. Oh, this guy got mad. He bucked up. Alright, man, you want something? Alright. Should be safe. Now we just gotta go to the forge. We're gonna have to fight the preacher here. Which way is the forge? This way, back that way, okay. Okay. The Avalon Forge, here's the chain. I should probably eat some food right quick. And then we're just gonna run these back. Alright, so this this one done. Playing Bringer's Request. My task Thank you for the ring. Not special brew. The cauldron's ready, spewing. Okay. Now, Death Knight, a brief lesson in play cauldrons. The gas that the cauldron emits is deadly to the living, but empowers the scourge. As with all scourge creations, it feeds off it feeds off of death and grows stronger the longer it feeds. Take the Crusader scrolls uh, skulls and drop them in the cauldron. Okay. Put them in the cauldron. That gives us not special brew. And some more. How many can we do that? This is restores health and runic power. Okay. Health and runic power. And you can continue to get them. It's 50. So this is basically a 50 runic power potion. And it's like the more you stock up on here. And you could probably even. I wonder if you could come back to the starting area. But I remember thinking these are finite. And you could gather quite a few. You could gather a lot. But I don't know if it's feasible. Oh, it's unique 20. So you can only gather a max of 20. The thought was that you could cheese that somehow by getting, you know, a ton and then like using it during raid night. <laughs> but I don't think they would last that long if you only get 20. Alright, the registry tells us many things about the scarlet insects. Keleth, uh, okay, Keleseth flips through the pages of the registry. Death rates, births, but most importantly, movement. Look here, Lude Stalwart. They have already sent three vessels abroad. Let me see here. Where are they headed? He mutters something about the latitude and longitude under his breath as he calculates the route. What? This is impossible. They sail to Northrin? Besides the coordinates are the words Crimson Dawn. Okay. How to win friends and influence enemies. In my travels across this world, I have made several interesting discoveries. For instance, did you know that the proper amount of encouragement one can extract all the truths that a man dares hide? Oh, with the, with the proper amount of encouragement? One can extract all the truth that a man hides. As luck would have it, I happen to have some encouragement on hand. He pulls out an ornate jewelry box. These are my persuaders. Equip them and take to the battlefield. Apply pointy ends to the soldiers of the new Avalon. Discover the truth about Crimson Dawn. I remember that quest because I kept killing everybody. I was like, why is I'm, I'm not getting credit here? I just kept killing them. You're quite effective with the blade, Elude Star. Perhaps Lish King permitted you to be interesting becoming one of my minions. No, buddy, I don't want to be one of Baron Rivendare's enemies. Or minions, rather. I don't want to be a minion to Baron Rivendare. Oh, that was a belt. Okay, so we got to reveal the Crimson Dawn by equipping 
with these. I think if you dual wield, it's faster. And then I think we just use it on anybody, right? Just use it on anybody. Scarlet Crusade in the pocket. Let's try this guy. What is the Crimson Dawn? You'll get nothing and like it. Okay. Is your life worth so little? Just tell me what I need to know about the Crimson Dawn and I'll end your suffering quickly. I'll tell you nothing, Scorch Filth. He died. He was a man of his word. All right, you. What will you tell me of this Crimson Dawn? I'll tell you everything. Stop, please. Ah, he punked out. Quit. Oh, he still died. He says, we we have only been told the Crimson Dawn is awakening. You see the light speaks to High General. It's the light. And then he dies. Okay, so I think I go back to the guy who gave me this. I believe, I believe we need to just talk back to... Oh, that's not this place. Oh, it's this one. The crypt. I'll try and go in the house. What kind of death knight sets up a fort in a house? Here we go. Uh, did you not like... Oh, do I have to get more information? I think I'm not done. Let me go get more information. Let's try a commander. I'm through being courteous with your kind, human. What is the Crimson Dawn? He's like, the Crimson what? I've never heard of it. What if I parkour around him? What you gonna do now? He's like, I'll tell you everything. Stop, please. So this guy is actually alive still. And he gets to tell me because he's still alive. I didn't just kill him like the last guy. He says, uh, you see the light speaks high generals, the light, the light that guides us, the movement set in motion before you came, as we were told that it must be done. No, please, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. The choreo comes from Hearth... Okay, New Hearthglen. So he tried to, like... He tried to protect somebody. But then I got that last little bit out of him. Alright, we're gonna go turn this in. Okay, how to win friends and influence enemies. An awakening? What nonsense do you speak, boy? What kind of fool would deliver their people into the very heart of the frozen wastes? Perhaps, though, this courier holds the answer. Ah, so we'll talk to the le the mailman, and we'll get that from him. Where's, where's the room? Alright, it says, uh, I have sent Orbaz, the Sarian and Coltira behind enemy lines to search for the courier. They have set up a base of operations at the Scarlet Tavern, located at the southern end of New Avalon. The tavern's tucked away behind the two orchards, adjacent to the chapel of the Crimson Flame. You're to make your way to the tavern and report to Obaz Webblane. He'll update you on the situation. Okay. Let's go. Okay, the new Avalon Orchard. This is the tavern, I believe. Yeah, the Scarlet Tavern. Okay. Sari. What? What? Oh, here he is. Orbaz Bloodbane. What? Alright, we are the chosen ones, elude stalwart. Death Knights of the Scourge sent Speak us to the peace. seeds of the. Okay. Looks like we'll let anyone in the Dark Order. It says it'll look like they'll let anyone into the Dark Order these days. When I was given the gift, things were different. Much different. As to this courier, Path of the Righteous Crusader. We haven't got a damn clue about when or where this courier is supposed to show up. None of these humans had an answer either. Orbaz points to the scarlet corpses strewn across the floor. I did manage to beat some use some useful something useful out of the last one. In inside of Scarlet Hold, they keep a schedule of all the patrol routes. I want you to break in and hold uh, break into the hold and steal the schedule. The hold is the largest building in New Avalon. It's northeast. We are All right, here. let's go. Let's get the patrol schedule. Northeast. I think it's the big building. Oh, hold on a second. I saw another quest. There's another quest. I think the, the Sarian has something to say. Ah, after we finished talking to Orbaz, the Sarian had something. Breaking through the Scarlet the lines was no easy task. We suffered many casualties during the assault and lost one of our best death knights, Coltira Deathweaver. 
I don't know where he is or uh, whether he's dead or alive. But if we don't search for him, I'll be damned if we don't search for him. I saw him last being bound in irons and dragged away to the Scarlet Hold northeast. Oh, okay. So this is also a northeast. I'm glad I got that one before I took off. Because I was about to roll out with just the Orbaz quest. All right. Let's get back northeast this, to the big building. I think in the basement might be uh, where Coltira is. Let's start going down the basement. Yeah, here's Coltira. Just gotta clear this guy out real right quick. Maybe we can get him while we're clearing this guy. Brothers in death. He says, you were foolish in coming after me. He says, you were foolish in coming after me? I failed. I should have been left for dead. Now the two of us might be killed. Coltira shakes his head. We are death knights of the Scourge. This flies in the face of the Dark Brotherhood's covenants. The Saren, you blasted fool. All right, that's a talent point. I got to remember these talent points. I got nine <laughs> unspent talent points. All right, the alarms have been sounded. The High Inquisitor and his acolytes will be here soon. I'm too badly injured to be of help, but I'll do what I can. Uh, slay the High Inquisitor and his cronies, tear off his head and return it to Thessarian. Vengeance will soothe the savage soul. One more thing, eludes Stalwart. If you do manage to survive and make it back to Thessarian, tell them that they're executing prisoners at the chapel. Perhaps he'll send you there to play a hero once more. We'll get a chest from that. All right, let's see what kind of uh, talents we got here. I think I decided three here, there, outbreak there. I'm not going to get corpse explosion. I'd probably go with necrosis. I think that's probably the best option for damage. I mean, there is increase the damage and healing of death coil and reduce the cooldown of death and decay. <laughs> Um, that sounds like a good idea, actually. I'm sure I'll double back for that. It's too far away. But I'm definitely getting on a pale horse and doing that now. So that gives us, uh, you become as hard to stop as death itself. The duration of all stun and fear effects used against you is reduced by 20%. And your mounted speed is increased by 20%. This is not uh, stacked with any other movement speed increase. I'm gonna go with the Night of the Dead because that's our money maker as unholy. Having the unholy Night of the Dead. Okay, and that leaves us with three points. Blood Cake Blade. Auto attacks have a chance to cause Blood Cake Strike, which hits for 25% of weapon damage, plus 12.5% for each of the diseases. Yes, that's an obvious winner. Before we just blindly put a second point into that though, let's find out what this next tier opens up. Dirge sounds familiar. Death Strike, Plate Strike, Corpse Strike generates additional Runic power. That's probably the way to go. Unholy Blight's interesting. Oh, we're almost done here. With the Inquisitor. Ow. You flim family. Uh, attack power of spells. Okay, so attack power bonus of spells is increased. So I guess spells get boosted based off of my attack power. And this increases the amount that they get boosted off of my attack power. If I'm reading that right. I think I'll go with the new move and just get used to putting this in the rotation. Let's first make sure it still works the way I think it does. Unholy Blight causes the victim of your death coil to be surrounded by a vile swarm of unholy insects, taking 10% of the damage done of the death coil over 10 seconds and preventing any diseases from being dispelled on the character the player. That sounds like that sounds like a winner. I'm gonna go with that one and then dirge. And unholy blight should now be an ability. I might have to train it though. All right, that's that guy's head. Can I pull this out? No. It's not here. It's just victims of death coil will now be swarmed by insects. I thought it was a separate button. I guess back then just death coil gave them light. Or back now. <laughs> oh, first, before we follow that guy, we got to go up to get the new Avalon schedule. I think it's at the roof. I'll go up here. 
Let me eat some food right quick. Is there anything we don't have equipped that we should probably be wearing? The legs? Yeah. Alright. Upstairs. I don't know if it's this way. Yeah, I think it is. We gotta open with blight. As soon as we can, we gotta do our death coil. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Probably till dinner. Ah, oh, it disappeared. <laughs> He's just a little too quick. There we go. Certainly. Certainly. He laggy. <laughs> he a little laggy. All right, let's get out of here. I'm out. Does that slow him? No, frost fever doesn't slow. Him. We're gonna store up some runic power so the next guy we fight gets the immediate blight I the opening blight where you at next guy there you are okay so we got those diseases and blight taking shadow damage oh it's so much damage it is a damage over time I don't know. Depends on my energy. Okay, so we're gonna go back and turn these in to the Sarian at the inn by the grove, which is this way. Up the dirt road. Here we go. Okay, here we, here we are. Looks like we got a friend. Yeah, get him, guys! <laughs> It was a trap all along. They had no idea. I'll feed this monster's head to the ghouls. He tosses his head to the back room. Uh, he tosses the head of the other guy. Did Coltira make it out? He pauses. I'm certain he did. Those walls couldn't hold him. Time for some payback. We'll get our chest piece here. That's a level right there. Yeah, buddy. A cry for vengeance. A cry for vengeance must be heard, eludes stalwart. Commander Plaguefist and a company of Death Knights are on their way to raise the, cap the chapel of the Crimson Flame. If there are any death knights imprisoned at the chapel, Plague Fist will get them out. You can still catch up with them if you hurry. The chapel is due west of here. Report to Knight Commander Plague Fist at the Chapel of the Crimson Flame. I will listen for now. This is that new Avalon schedule we're turning in. Path of the Righteous Crusader. Those worthless Cretans have been busy. Northern patrol routes, southern patrol routes, western and eastern, but nothing about their courier routes. Wait a minute. What's this? It looks like a western patrol route coming out of the western plague lands. This patrol path will lead here today. I'm gonna need time to plan. We've got Tomorrow some gloves here. Get these day. gloves. And then there's the chest. I think that's all the pieces. We're looking different. Looking a little different. Alright, a cry for vengeance. We gotta report to Night Commander at the Plague Fist. Chapel of the Hope. Uh, excuse me. Chapel of Hope. Actually, that was right next to here. We're already you there. The something. only flesh is there's only flesh and bone no matter. It says they're only flesh and bone, no match for the Scourge. We didn't find any of our brothers, but we did stumble upon something special. We got here, tore the place apart, and headed towards the prison house. We weren't expecting what we found there, Lute Sower. Seems like the Crusade's been real busy. The whole thing is full of Argent Dawn prisoners. Most of them were already dead by the time we arrived. But 
a few were still still breathing. I was about to go in there and execute the rest of them, but I think you should have the honors. In particular, there's a real feisty human there that I'll think you'll take great pleasure in executing. Leave me. Okay, thank you very much, I guess. It's in here? Okay, let's go in here. Just don't let it be Thrall. <laughs> Ellen Stanbridge slain. This one. Uh, hello. Come to finish the job, have you? Yeah, I think so. I'd like to stand for... A lewd stalwart? A lewd stalwart? I'd recognize that face anywhere. What what have what have they done to you, elude stalwart? You don't remember me, do you? Blasted scourge, they've tried to drain or they tried to drain uh, you of everything that's made you a righteous force of reckoning. Every less ounce of good, everything that made you human. Think elude stalwart, think back. Try to remember the hills and the valleys of Elwyn, where you were born. Remember the splendor of life, brother. You were a champion for the alliance once. This isn't you. Listen to me, Elude Stalwart. You must fight against the Lich King's control. He's a monster that wants to see this world, our world, in ruin. Don't let him use you to accomplish his goals. You were once a hero and you can't be, you can be again. Fight, damn you. Fight his control. There, there's no more time. I'm done for. Finish me off, Elude Stalwart. Do it or they'll kill us both. Elude Stalwart, remember Elwyn. The world, this world is worth staying, <laughs> saying. Do it, elude stalwart. Put me out of my misery. Okay, plague strike. All right, it's done. It was intense. It was, I mean, I had a little crisis of confidence there for a split second, but the Lich King stayed my hand. Make All right, felt good, didn't it? You're not the one of them anymore, elude stalwart. You're a scourge, one of us now, forever. A sort of homecoming. Return to the. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Now we're officially a death knight. Okay. In here, guys. Watch. Yes. Here he comes. Get him, guys. Get him. Get him. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Take that, Scarlet Commander and Scarlet Marksman. I see you there. Ambushed him. All right, the, the Sarian. Another Scourge victory? The Scarlet Dogs have nowhere left to run and hide. It's no matter what. Okay, so it's just a matter of time. We get a trinket here. This is going to replace our removes movement and pairing effects trinket. So this is an actual trinket that does something. As opposed to just removing impairment effects. And both of these are equipped. This was like a defensive. This was kind of a defensive, but it's also got a strength on parry so that's nice what ambush at the overlook all right my throat's getting raw so i'm not going to read the rest of these unless it's super important and then we're going to go we're going to finish we're almost done i think we're almost out of here Suffer well. i think we're almost out of the starting area at least okay guys let's get him here he comes he's coming there he is! Get him, guys! Get him! Yeah, we got him. We got him. Oh, wait. We're not, we don't even have to come in here. Oh, yeah, we do. An ambush at the overlook done. All right, so second part of the plan. Okay. We do what he says there. Southeast of the overlook is the scarlet. Okay, so southeast. Drop off the message. There's work to be done. Okay. Hold on, before I go. Yeah, we got the disguise already. We're, we're disguised as a Scarlet Courier. So we're going to go turn this. I keep on hitting the map. We're going to go turn this in. He says southeast, right? Southeast, this way. Yeah, they're all friendly. All right, not bad, not bad. That on a pale horse has us book in it too. We are booking it. All right, meeting with Faye. Where have you been? You're two hours late. We're about to send a courier to the high commander. All right, damn it. The armies of Hearthglen and Trisfall must not reach New Avalon. The scourge will slaughter them all. 
Listen well, Courier. The Scarlet Lands are lost. New Avalon and Havenshire are overrun by Scourge. The Spectre of Death looms overhead and strikes and threatens to overtake us at any moment. Return this Galvar with this mess or return to Galvar with this message. Turn your armies around and prepare your ships to travel to the frozen wastes. When we next meet, we will be in Northrend. Yeah, buddy. Spooky. As I'm running up, the, there's like a real spooky little sun cloud thing going on here. No need for an ambush here because I'm a courier. Or at least I look like one. Alright, man. Will be done. Scarlet Onslaught emerges. What rubbish is the Crimson Dawn? You must prepare for the encroaching enemies. Take you wood. Okay, we gotta go back to Mordor. Suffer well. Suffer well. We're disguised, so we can just go straight there. Un oh, well, I was gonna say unbothered, but now we've reverted back, so we're attackable again. All right, so we're gonna go to Thessarian. Actually, it's more grain at Ebon Hold. Do I have to go all the way back to Ebon Hold? Can I teleport? Maybe I can hearth. I think at this point I should probably just keep running because I'm almost there. That pale horse though, we got 12 more talents to spin. This is awesome. Okay, so there's Dirge. Uh, attack power bonus. This I like the attack power bonus of spells increased, but I don't think before Blood Cake Blade. I think I want Blood Cake Blade maxed. Blood Cake Blade 1. Blood Cake Blade 2. That gives us AMS. Or the first tier into AMS. I don't know if we go straight for that yet. Master of Ghouls. We can get the raised dead. Yeah, let's get our ghoul buddy. And then reaping whatever we hit with blood strike. Pestilence. There's a chance that a blood room becomes a death room. I think this is necessary. At least a 33% chance. But I might want to fully spec that. Desecration. It says plague strikes and scorch strikes cause the desecrated ground. Oh, wait, do we need to go up there? More grains down here, right? No, he's up. He's up. Let's keep reading this. So reaping is whenever we hit with blood strike or if we pestilence. Basically, whenever a blood rune is spent. That chance uh, has a chance to become a it has a chance to become a death rune, and death runes count as any rune, so it's like a, a wild one. That versus desecration, plague strike, scorch strikes cause the desecrated ground effect, slowing everything. Oh no, I don't think unless I'm playing on PVPing. There's some shoulders. I mean, maybe we want the desecrated ground effect. We have trainers up here too, right? So I should hit up those class trainers. We press on. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's finish. Let's get all these. We will have our and then we got to finish specking as well. I'm not going with desecrated ground. I think I'm going to keep putting more into reaping. But before I do, I kind of like the idea of maxing these out. I feel like impurity. Ah, I don't think I'm going to get both. I don't think it'll let me get both of those. Let's go one here, one here. I kind of like that, so we'll put one there. And then I think improved unholy presence, yes. Because this gives us 15% increased movement speed. It gives us a unholy presence, which causes our runes to cool down faster. And then Desolation, Ghoulish Frenzy, of course Ghoulish Frenzy. And then Blood Strikes cause an additional damage, cause me to deal additional damage with all attacks. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Blood Strikes are necessary. Let's keep on going here. That got us to this tier to Crypt Fever. Your diseases also cause crypt fever, which increases damage taken by diseases. What is this one? Bone shield. This is 20% less damage from all sources, and then dealing 2% more damage with all attacks. 
Each damaging attack lands, consumes one bone. I've never used it in that way, as a damage buff. Tempting. I might come back for that. I think Crypt Fever is better, because that's going to give us the Evan Plaguebringer eventually. So my plan here is one more point in the Crypt Fever, and then doubling back to Impurity and Necrosis for one and three more points. So that's four more points. That should get us to the last tier here, to Gargoyle. Like, that's what we're beelining it for. I'm most likely going to go with Wandering Plague. Chance to equal to your melee crit strike chance to cause additional tar damage to targets around that person. Ignores any target under the effects of a spell that's canceled by taking damage. I don't know about this, then. You, you have a chance that your disease damage has a chance equal to your crit strike. That they're going to cause additional damage to surrounding enemies. So it's kind of like a uh, festering. It's like the way festering pustules work in, in retail. Scorch Strike's coming right out, though. We got quite a few. I feel my throat going, man. This is the starting area here. My throat's almost gone out of the starting area, guys. It's almost gone. It's almost gone. I just gotta get back used to making them demands on my voice box. I go from, like, not talking for weeks to all of a sudden rambling for hours. <laughs> All right, the Scarlet Apocalypse, you have served me well, loot stalwart. The mark of the Scourge has been burned into these Scarlet Lands. You've reaped the death and destruction for as far as the eye can see and delivered to me the last of the Scarlet Army. Now it's time to finish what you started. All right, let's go. The end of all things. You have slaughtered legions beyond number and still your dark heart craves more. Your hunger knows no end. The Lich King pauses. There must come an end to all things, Death Knight. The Scarlet Armies make their final stand against us. For them, there is no escape, no choice. And for this reason, they will have to fight a ferocity with the ferocity, ferocity that you have yet to witness. Use this horn to call forth my worms. Climb upon this back and command it to battle. With you, uh, climb upon his back and command it into battle. With it, you will end the Scarlet Crusade. You so we get to ride his frostworm. Where is it at? Let me have it. Do I talk to you? Do I talk? Let me. Conquer I want. In my name. Okay. The light has abandoned you. Do I talk to somebody else? Where's the frostworm? I know he told me to. Use the horn of the frost blood. Oh, do I have it on me? There it is. Ba -da -ba -da. Okay, here we go. Now we basically just keep it easy. Ballistas are the one-offs that we're looking for. That might be something we have to kind of search a bit for. I believe they're back this way. I want to say they're up on this. They're here on this tower. Yes. It's all coming back to me. Man, these things are tanky. All right, there's three. Four. That's six. Four more, guys. Four more. I can't catch that. That still isn't ready. Let's go retard. Hit it. Not enough mana. Oh, we gotta eat some people. Let's go down to number three then. Take to this. I can't that yet. Nom nom nom. Oh, we got some. It's slowly restoring. I see. I can't that yet. You can't just spam. You do have to go down and eat every once in a while. You definitely can't eat right after you. Okay, okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. That's 10. Now we just have the Scarlet folks. It's large groups of Scarlet 
There we go, this way. And over there. And that one. And over here. And over else wants some. And who else? Over there. I think that's it. Yeah, that's a wrap. Oh no, we're we're out of mana. That's why. Just gonna get more mana. All right, we can start taking them out. It takes a while once you eat to get your mana back, but two bodies seem to top you off. Or two cooldowns of eating. Two cooldowns of number three, devour humanoid. All right, that's done. I don't think we could just vehicle exit this. That would be nice. But it looks like I'm on top of it, so I'm going to fly back a bit and then vehicle exit just to avoid all the run. There is no light, only darkness. All right. Your to end all things, is one final task, Light's Hope Chapel, another level. 59. We're almost out of here. I think level 60 is, is lined up just right. Don't fail me. Report to his commander. Okay, we gotta go to the mill. We got two minutes until the battle for Light's Hope Chapel begins. So, I think that's back through this way, actually. Report to Scourge Master at the Broman Mill. Yeah, I think this is this way. Through the noxious my terrible creations. Right? At Broman Mill? Uh, I don't think this is the right way. It was. It's the right way. It says the path northwest out of the glade. Should be this. Yeah, Broman Mill. This is the right one. So, yeah. You, you get the quest from the Lich King, northwest. You go through the Noxious Glade. Northwest through there is the the mill. And we got... It says the battle's begun. Hurry, let's go! Oh, it started right now. Right now it started. This is it. It's shaky. Everything is shaky. It's all shaking. Do we go now? I think we'll get a buff here in a second. We're going to switch to battle mode now. Dun, 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 dun. Battle mode engaged. The big guy's booking it. I'm gonna follow the flesh behemoth. Oh, I probably should have trained or at least pulled some moves out. Hold on a second. We got this. Pestilence would have been nice. Change of lives. I didn't put moves out there. Now I'm pulling the moves out. Improved on Holy Presence, but I don't have fun with Holy Presence. We have an undead dude here. We need corpse dust. We all ate up here. Go Frenzy. I don't know what Go Frenzy are, maybe? We need plague dust. Alright, don't worry. I'm gonna start damaging now. I should probably fight little non elites. Okay. The little non elites die pretty fast. Oh, 
Okay. I don't know if when I pestilence if it spreads the blight, but that'd be cool. Man, that camera is very good. Missing that guy. So we have to kill 9,886 more. 9,880. I mean, that sounds like a lot, but this clearly is not that amount. Maybe in all the respawns. Tell the boss types are a lot harder to hit. Is that it? Okay. Bring them before the chapel. Oh, it's happening. Oh, he just took him out. This is Tyrion. High Lord Darian Morgrain kneels Stand before down, Tyrion Forgreen. We have lost the light. This place. No hope. There's no hope. We've lost. The light's too strong. Have you learned nothing, boy? You have become all that your father fought against. Like that coward Argus who allowed yourself to be consumed by the darkness, the hate, feeding upon the misery of those you tortured and killed. Your master knows what lies in this chapel. That is why he dares not show his face. He sent you and your death knights to meet their doom, Darian. What you are feeling right now is the anguish of a thousand lost souls. Sounds fine. <laughs> souls that you and your master brought here. The light will tear you apart, Darian. Hug. Save your breath, old man. It might be the last you ever draw. Uh-oh, something's happening. He said, you turned My into son. everything your father fought against. Look, here's his dad. Boy. Uh, my father. My only weakness. Oh. You have returned. Look, his soul came out. You've been gone a long time, father. I was getting you. milk, son. <laughs> Nothing could have kept me away from you down here. Not from my own family. This is so moving. He's got the uncorrupted I wish ash to join you in the war against the undead. I want to fight. I can sit idle no longer. I can sit idle Darian no longer. Morgan, you are barely of age to hold a sword. Was the text battle the undead horde. Does that say stalwart? No. I could not bear losing you. Even the thought. I die, Father. I would rather it be on my feet, standing in defiance against the undead legions. 
If I die, let me die with you! My son. My there son. There will come a day when you will command the Ashbro and with it mete out justice across this land. I have no doubt that when that day finally comes, you will bring pride to our people and that Lordaeron will be a better place because of you. But, my son, that day is not today. Not today. Not Touching. Uh oh, he got, <laughs> he got scrunts. He was like, thrun, thrun, thrun. like, like Mario. He got the mushroom Steve, taken away. Betrayed me. You betrayed us all, monster. Face the might of oh, he's coming up with the sword. Oh shit! That was the Ashbringer, but it's You're corrupted. You're a damned monster, Arthas. Uh. I think that's my that's my king you're talking to there. You were right, Fordring. I did send them in to die. Their lives are meaningless. Meaningless. But yours. Muda 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 muda. Useless, 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 How useless. How simple it was to draw the great Tyrian Fordring out of hiding. You've left yourself exposed, Paladin. Uh oh. Nothing. Will save you. He overextended. Apocalypse! Apocalypse! He's using the ability. He used his Legion artifact ability. Oh shit. Now he has it. It's uncorrupted again. It's got the Ashbringer. What is this? Oh, oh. Impossible. He said, your end, like all fast like an anime before he could even finish asking the like, question. What is your end? This is not over. Man. When next we meet, it won't. Be on holy ground, Paladin. So that was the first time the Lich King got thwarted. I remember a similar scene in Dragonflight. Yes. Rise, Dad. At the Wrath Gate. Listen. The time of the Argent Crusade is now. The time of the Argent Crusade is now. All right, give me a quest. We have all been witness I think I just joined the alliance. Tragedy. The blood of good men has been shed upon this soil. Honorable knights slain defending their lives. Our lives. And while such things can never be forgotten, we must remain vigilant in our cause. The Lich King must answer for what he has done and must not be allowed to cause further destruction in our world. True, dude, true. I make a promise to you now, brothers and sisters. The Lich King will be defeated. On this day, I call for a union. The it is done. Dawn and the Order of the Silver Hand will come together as one. We will succeed where so many before us have failed. We will take the fight to Arthas and we will tear down the walls of Ice Crown. Argent Crusade comes for you, Arthas! So too do the Knights of the Ebon Blade. Yeah. Our kind has no place Knights of the Ebon Blade. We will fight to bring an end to the Lich King. This I vow. The life we had before. There will be no atonement for us, the Loot Stalwart. We are forever damned to walk the earth as monsters. While the Lich King. While the Lich King. Uh, we're, we are forever walk the earth as damn monsters. While the Lich King may have loosened his grip on us, the specters of our past will forever haunt our memories. We must make amends in the only way that we know, death. As I ask you to join now in Arturus as a... Oh, I ask you now to join me in Arturus as a knight of the Evan Blade. 
Together we will destroy the Lich King and end the Scourge. Oh, I gotta choose. Do I want an axe or do I want a sword? Hit rating sword. Hit rating sword it is. Taking back Arturus. All right, guys. With that, folks, we're going to wrap up today's episode of Elude Stalwart Plays. World of Warcraft Lich King Classic. Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Until next time. It's been fun. It's been fun. Peace. Peace.